friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen, this is Intentional Living, and today we are doing two stuffings in one. We are gonna do my third side hustle paycheck for the month of March, and my fourth full-time income um, stuffing for March. I do have a five week month this month, so there'll be one more side hustle, one more full-time, and then that'll be March. But my side hustle was small again um, today, which is totally fine. I have not put a ton of effort into my Etsy shop, and. For Etsy, like what you put in is what you get out and I have not been putting in a lot right now. So that reflects in my paychecks, which is totally fine. That's how that goes. But I felt like this video would be kind of boring if I didn't combine it with my other one. So um, I still haven't posted the ones where I ask for your feedback if you like that or not. So I'll be on the lookout in case you hate it and then I won't do it anymore. But for Etsy today, we're gonna start with that money, which is $125. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 5, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, and 125. Sometimes this is small business budgets. They're just small um, and you can't stuff everything you want. So in taxes, um, I'm adding $30, which is 25%. And I have 6,169 for last year. And then for this year, I have 1,500, 600, 700, 800, 850, 870, 890, 910, 920, 930, and 935. So plus 935. So I have 7,104 dollars in taxes now. We're skipping products, equipment, shipping, office, and marketing, and we're jumping straight to bills where we're adding 35 or five in each category. So I have 10 in Instant Ink. QuickBooks has 2535. YouTube Premium has 2535. Amazon has 5565. Canva, 5565. Cricket, 5565. And then PO Box, 5565. So $340 in bills. And then my emergency fund gets 5%, and I round it up, and that's $10 this week. So 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 50, 65, and 370 my emergency fund for my business and then 15% is my Roth IRA and rounded up that is $20 so I have 50 70 90 110 130 135 and 140 for the month of March and that is it for my business binders so that means my take-home pay after retirement is $30 and I'm adding all of that into fitness and wellness because I am in the red on that. And I really want to get that gone by the end of March if possible, but I'm starting to realize that is not possible. So by the end of April. So $30 into fitness and wellness. And that is the whole stuffing for this, which is why I wanted to combine it with my week four, because that would have been a five minute video especially because I talk fast. So now we're gonna stuff 750 for week four. And I have one, two, 300, 50, 400, 450, 470, 490, 510, 530, 550, 570, 590, 610, 630, 650, 670, 680, 690, 700, 510, 15, 25, 35, 45, and 750. So it's all here. And we are going to start with my bills. As we do, we will not be stuffing this in my week five. This will fully fund everything for April. So in rent, we're adding $210. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred, eight ten, eight twenty, eight thirty, 820, and 840. Which is enough for April's rent. Utilities is getting 40. 
20, 40. So I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, and 160, which I do think I need to increase next month. So I will make a note to do that. My phone bill is $15 a week. So we're adding 15 and I have 10, 20, 30, 45, 55, and 60, which is, I pay 59.90. So yeah. And then in Apple, I have $10, which is for my Peacock subscription. And then insurance, which is car renters, jewelry is getting 25 today. So I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 100, 105, and 110. And then my gym memberships is getting 40, 20, 40, did I say 40, 45. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 65, 75, and 180. And that will do it for my bills binder. And then we'll move on and do my cash spending, which is in my A9 binder. Eating out is empty right now and we're adding 50, which some of that I do think I need to take to the bank. So, but for now we have 50. I did um, unstuff some things off camera and I do have some ones in here. So we'll add those to the $1 challenge. Gas is getting 25 today. So now I have 50, 70, 85 in gas. Groceries is empty and we're going to add 150 today. So 150. And then spending, we're going to add five. So I have 10, 15, and 20 in spending. And then miscellaneous, we are going to add five and it will have five. So that will do it for my wallet this week. And now on to my long-term spending. I did skip a few categories, but we are gonna add money to drinks because I went in the negative this weekend was St. Patrick's Day weekend and we did do a little bit of drinking and I did a lot of coffee um, refills over like app refills over the last couple weeks because um, I've been getting a lot of coffee. So I was like negative 30 something dollars. So I'm adding 40 for that and I'll take that money to the bank obviously. And then fitness and wellness, I'm gonna add 10. So I have 20, 30 and 40 now. And then I hate empty spaces in these. Fun is empty, so I decided to give it five because I used some of that this weekend for St. Patrick's Day. Gifts is empty because I, my friend had a bachelorette party, so I sent her some money for a drink on me. So I'm gonna add five there. And then we are skipping all the way back to buffer which is getting a five. So now we have 10 in buffer. Is that right? I think I, I think it's supposed to just be five. Cause I think that five was went to drinks to pay off some of that. I'll check my book, but I'm pretty sure this should have five in it based on like the math I did earlier. So, um, also these dashboards are from Lily budgets, go check her out. And then all my envelopes are from my shop. If you wish to shop with me, um, my shop is always linked down below. And then for savings, we are adding $5 into birthdays. We have 50 saved for my friend Lauren in March. And then we are going to add five for my boyfriend, Colin, or my fiance, Colin, five, 10, and 15. So that means we have 65 in total in birthdays. And I do, Lauren's in June, did I say March? I don't know. 
my uh, sister-in-law and one of my best friend's birthdays are next week. So I need to get some cards in the mail this week. But I already have the cards and I already have the stamps. So it's gonna, not going to cost me anything. Okay, so that's it for this binder. And then the rest of this money is going into Big Blue. We are going to add $20 into car. So now a new car, we have 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, and 320. Plus a thousand in repairs, a hundred in oil changes, 250 in deductible, 200 in registration, and a thousand in emergency fund. So I have $2,870 in car. So close to 3,000 right before I have to get an oil change, so it will not reach 3000 3, Um, But I have 200 saved for Colin for Christmas, and then for my parents now, I have $40, because we just added 20, so that means we have $240 saved for Christmas. And then in home, we are adding 20 today. Oh, I forgot to do the five thing again. I'll hopefully be able to make change because I was going to put five in yard work and 15 in home maintenance. No. Okay. I'm going to make change because I don't want to do this wrong again. So I'm going to take out a 20 and add in a 10 and two fives. Always forget to make the right change for this envelope. Okay, so in home maintenance, we're gonna add 10. No, we're gonna add 15. So now in home maintenance, I have one, two, three, 400, 450, 470, 480, 490, 495. So five more dollars and that will be fully funded. So 495 in home maintenance plus 200 in hosting plus we're gonna add five into yard work. So now I have 15. plus a hundred in decor, plus a thousand in first house and 500 in furniture. So I have 2,310. So what I'm gonna do um, after this, I'm gonna reach the 500 in home maintenance and then I'll reach the like the next $30 in yard work. And Colin and I are gonna um, combine our finances soon. So I'll probably just stop paying him for yard work things because we will be combining budgets. And then wedding today is getting $50, which is what we're doing with this. So now in wedding, we have 10,000, 15,000, 16,000, 150, 200. So 16,220. And you'll notice I definitely spent money out of that, um, which is why I went down. I am going to do a budget like update slash a wedding update video um, soon. I took notes. I asked y'all on Instagram um, what you wanted to see from a wedding update video. And I literally wrote down what y'all responded to. So if you have any um, questions related to wedding planning or wedding budget, let me know in the comments because I will try to address those in my first video. I'm not gonna be a, a thousand percent transparent with my budget, but I will be as transparent as I can. Um, just because some family members are contributing to our wedding and I don't um, want to share their numbers, but I will try to be helpful, you know, as I can. Um, and we're going to add these four ones to the $1 challenge, which is in this pouch. So that will do it for today's double stuffing. Um, let me know how you liked it down below. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll catch you in my next video.